What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, Brian's Fish Tanks. Guys, got so much game, we gotta do another video of a cichlid tank. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is the best cichlid tank I've seen with my own two eyes. Um, Brian, tear into it, dude. Here, here's the camera. Talk about the fish. Talk about talk about the species. Talk about the whole deal, man. So, it's all you. I don't know if you want to kill the light or whatever to make it a little better, but... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and kill the peacocks are insane, light. bro. All right. This tank here is my pride and joy. I've got planted tanks as well, but honestly and truly, this tank is where it's at. I made the background completely out of styrofoam. You're not looking at real rocks at all here. You're looking at styrofoam covered in concrete and a lot of man hours putting it all together. I've got about 20 or so different species of peacocks from Lake Malawi. And there's a couple Tanganyikans in here as well. I've got a Compressiceps, two Compressiceps, and a Julidochromus regani in here. Um, we'll just go ahead and go through some of the species real fast for you. This fish here is commonly known as, your, as the Taiwan Reef. The guy without much color at the top is a blue shoulder. This orange one with the blue head is a German red. Then we have a Sunshine. And that one there without the blue head, just got the blue nose, is the German, or just a red peacock, I'm sorry. Uh, most people call him a Rubens red. This blue guy here is a Hapachromus morii, often called the uh, dolphin cichlid. Then I've got a sulfur head down here. It's another Hapachromus. I believe that one's a Hapachromus. Um, then this guy here without any color is actually one of the coolest fish in the tank if it was colored up. Um, give me a minute and I'll think of the name for that one. The black one with red fins is a red fin borlei. He'll get a blue body. The female camouflage one that we're looking at in the middle right now is a lithobase yellow blaze. That's the girl. I've got some babies from her already. Um, let's see. You got the yellow one. This is my lemon Jake. He's looking fantastic. Um, let's see. What other ones have we not mentioned yet? This here is a pretty common blue ollie. This one looks really good. He's starting to get a lot of color to him. This peacock here with the white fins is an otter point. He's an awesome fish. I just got him not too long ago. This one here with the yellow fins on top and the blue face and the greenish body is a red top Lawanda. That is one of my favorite peacocks. How do you keep aggression down? For this tank, I kept aggression down by packing the fish in here. Like I said, there's about 20 or 25 different fish in here. And then I've got about 20 catfish that all hide in this cave in this back corner. You have 20 catfish in here? There's about 20 to 25. I can feed them here in a second. We can get a good video of the catfish. But packing the fish in here and then not adding one fish at a time whenever you add them really kind of helps. How out. many do you add at a time? The lowest I've ever added is two. I added the one, the last two fish I added was the, um, the Otter Point, who's in the corner, and also the Red Top Lawanda. So that's a big tip for cichlid aggression is adding at least two or three at a time. Yeah, if you just add one fish, it's going to kind of act, be like a dither fish for the other fish. The other ones are just going to chase it around and it's not going to have time to adapt to your tank. If you add two of them together, like I've done, um, Really and truly, I don't get that much aggression. They chase both fish equally, so one fish isn't just getting beat down. Getting beat down terrible. Or terribly. Yeah, the, the little bit of chromis is fantastic. Um, let's see if we can't get the catfish to come out real fast. Alright, we're going to set this down for a second. I'll come back as soon as I got the food out for us. Good. And Brian's feeding a crazy mix right now. I'm going to go ahead and actually feed just some new life spectrum for now. I've been feeding a vegetable blend recently, but the catfish don't come out nearly as well unless there's some actual pellets on the bottom for them. So this is just standard new life spectrum. Again, new life spectrum though, it's all we feed. Yeah. I, I mean, he's recently been mixing it up, but we, he feeds the new life spectrum pellets, I feed the new life spectrum pellets. Not sponsored by new life spectrum or anything yet, but we'd love to be. And that's, it's a good food, it's a quality food. Yeah, it might It's be how you get great color. Best food on the market. All right, let's get those catfish on camera. All right, the catfish will start coming out here any second now, as soon as I can smell all the food. 
They've been stubborn the past couple days, and most of them are just staying in the cave, which is really disappointing. Yeah. They don't know what to think. I've got the filters turned off right now. There you go. Here's a couple of them coming out. They're camera shy. What kind of catfish are those? Cynodonus. We have Cynodonus petricola is the majority of the tank, or the catfish. I've got some Shadentai and also an Angelicus. Um, I think there's actually multiple Cantatas in here as well. Good. I don't know if a little red light would affect them or not. Yeah, they could. I, think. I hate it. <laughs> well, dude, regardless, it looks great, man. Well, I appreciate uh, it. What's your maintenance on this tank like? Um, on this tank, I do a water change. I do probably about 40% every 15 to 18 days. 40%, huh? 40% on this. I used to go more, but... Honestly and truly, this tank is a 125, but with all the styrofoam and displacement, I would bet you I probably only have 90 gallons of water here. Nice. So 40 gallons, I'll take about 36, 35, 36 gallons of water each time and then add it back to the tank. And the fish are just staying super healthy. I haven't had a single loss from the tank. Uh, the aggression's staying low. As you all can see, the colors are just really starting to pop. Most of these fish right now are just about a year, maybe a year and a half old. There's not a lot of real old fish in this tank. They've almost all gained an inch to two inches since I put them in here. But it's a very happy tank. Everybody works very well together. Notice there's no zebras in here. I don't recommend mixing zebras and peacocks. You can add the Libetochromus, the yellow guy back there. And they're pretty cool with anybody, but I do not recommend putting zebras in with a bunch of peacocks. That'll cause some serious aggression. Why? Zebras too aggressive? Zebra, yeah, zebras, they need to be run species. Zebras with zebras, peacocks with peacocks. When you start mixing them, the zebras are usually a little bit more pugnacious than the peacocks. And they end up usually causing damage to the fins. and the, They end up killing the peacocks, generally. I mean, I, people do it all the time and do it successfully, but I don't recommend it. If you read any of Ad Conning's books, he'll tell you the same thing. But this is the tank. I appreciate y'all looking at it. Cool. Looking great, dude.